Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make this velvet dress. So I started off with a back piece and a front piece, as well as uh, a back and a front piece for a skirt. Um, I changed the front piece. I did this by placing two of them together um, and then drawing a diagonal line across. Uh, which causes or which creates a wrap dress, a wrap effect, because it's a full wrap dress. So, and the height of this diagonal line decides um, how deep your V is gonna be. So, think about this beforehand and what you're comfortable with. For the skirt, I used a normal A line skirt that has darts that match up to the top pieces. Now the sleeve, I did change that one a lot, so I started out with a normal sleeve, I decided the length that I wanted it to be, which is about to my elbow, and then um, I drew vertical lines uh, across the sleeve and make sure that they're spread equally across your sleeve, um, and after I drew these lines, I cut them. Uh, almost up until the top, but not quite. So what you do then is then you place your sleeve on top of another piece of paper and you start moving the pieces apart from each other so that there's a space, like triangles that uh, exist in between them. And the further you move them apart, the more volume your sleeve is gonna be. Um, and when moving them apart, make sure that the space between all the little uh, pieces is the same because otherwise you're gonna have more volume on one side than on the other and that's that could be a bit weird. So once you've moved them apart and you're happy with how much volume you've created, you can tape them down and you can redraw the bottom line. Uh, which leaves you with a new pattern, a new sleeve pattern that's a nice flared sleeve. So after I uh, changed the pattern, I cut it out. So I used velvet, which is quite slippery and difficult, so I didn't cut anything double, because usually we would cut, you'd fold the fabric over and cut the sleeves at the same time. I didn't do that now because of the fabric moving on top of each other. Uh, similarly with the back piece, which you're supposed to cut on fold. Um, I first cut half of it, and then I flipped the pattern over and cut the other half. So I could still have one piece. Uh, also make sure to mark your darts. After you're done cutting. Then pin and sew up all of your darts. Then place the uh, back and front pieces right sides together and pin and sew them up at the shoulder. Then fold over the neck and sew across it with a twin needle. At the front, uh, pin the sides together and sew them only at the front, and this creates the wrap effect. So place your um, sleeves on your arm hole and pin it. And so do this for both sleeves and then you can fold your uh, top part together right sides together and pin uh, the sides together as well as the sleeve and then you can sew across it in one big line and your top will be assembled this is what it looks like just an intermediate shot 
onto the skirt, place your two skirt pieces together and pin and sew. Finish the seams. You can just do this by cutting them as this fabric won't fray. Then place your top and bottom right sides together and pin around the waist. Then sew. And after hemming your skirt, <laughs> the dress is done. This is what it looks like. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Bye!